Coming right up, the Spurs taking on the Cavaliers. For the Spurs, they know each game is a test of their physical endurance and mental focus. Another challenge lies ahead. Cavs, Spurs, only on 2K Sports. Welcome, folks, and what better way to celebrate the end of the week, Friday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Struess in at the three. And for San Antonio, inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Jones and Vassell are the one and the two. And it's Champagne at small forward. Well, we've got some explosive athletes out here tonight, Grant, and front row seats to watch it. You know, B.A., they're going to be stuffing that highlight reel all night. I mean, you can feel the energy in this place. The crowd is definitely ready for it. And the Spurs start out with a ball. And here's Jones. Sohan, the pass to Jones. Second chance shot. Good D by Mobley. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Here's Champagny, covered by Struess. Unloads from 13. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. Jacks up a three. Yes, and a Man, nice assist Struis. from Garland. Yeah, great vision. I mean, this is where Garland takes it to another level offensively. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Now here's Mitchell. Allen outside. Pass to Garland. Out left to the wing. Mobley finds Garland. Just five on the clock. Over Jones. Kept alive. Misses in close. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Pass to Wimanyama. Shoots over Allen. San Antonio again missing. The Cavaliers have gone one of four to begin this one. Now Mitchell. Going inside. Rebound San Antonio. Wimanyama's got four rebounds now. Outside Jones. Uses the glass on the layup. Impressive basket by Jones. Understands how to absorb contact and finish through it. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Mobley with it. No luck on that one. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Here's Champagny, covered by Struess. Champagny shot is off. Mitchell against Vassell. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James.
That free throw is good for Mitchell. You know, Grant, looking back to the Spurs' tough last season, free throw shooting was something they pointed to. You know, B.A., it's something they have to correct. They didn't get to the line enough, and their percentage wasn't good when they did. And, of course, that's a bad combination. Johnson, he's checked in for Champagny. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. The Cavaliers leading. Outside Struess. Pass to Mitchell. The three ball. And another miss by Cleveland. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Now here's Jones. Stolen by Mobley. Inside, Mitchell. Nice D from Vassell. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. You know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. So San Antonio gone with almost an entire new group here. Collins, he's checked in for Victor Wimbanyama. Mamo Kalashvili comes in for Sohan. Branham's checked in for Vassell. And it's Wesley in for Jones. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Merrill. Niang outside. And the three-pointer goes. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Branham. And there's 138 left in the first quarter. Misses the layup. Cleveland has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Okoro, covered by Johnson. Levert outside. Shoots from the line. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. And the Spurs with possession here. Wesley, the pass to Mamo Kalashvili. And he gets it to go. One side of a great playmaker. Hitting his man in stride. George Lien. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Spurs, Sandro Mamutelli Billy. One shot. And Smitty, a trend for the Spurs, playing fast. B.A., they get up a lot of shots. Problem is, the efficiency needs to be there. That was a hallmark of the great Spurs teams back in the day. Now here's LeBert. No made baskets yet. He's off on the layup. Here's Wesley. 46 seconds left now in the first quarter. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Stolen by Collins. Now Johnson. Here's Branham. Back to Johnson. Off with the layup. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Outside for Levert. From deep. They get it back. And the slam dunk by Thompson. The unbelievable effort. Thompson, a dedicated warrior on the offensive glass. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. 
the Cavaliers on top, leading by five. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And taking a look at the Cavs' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yes, you know this, G.A., back in our day, in any day, really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a five-point game. All right, on the floor for Cleveland, getting going in the second. And a lot of size for him, with both Mobley and I'm Allen Mobley. watching the paint. Mitchell and Okoro, they're the wings. And it's Garland in at the point. Here's Sohan. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. We always see trends come and go in the NBA, Graham. It seems like in the current era, the pick and roll is the go-to offensive set. Oh, no question, B.A. To be competitive these days, you have to be able to run the pick and roll very, very well. That's why lead guard play is so important right now in the league. And they're building up steam, getting out in front, and trying not to look back. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. He gets inside right when he sees the opening. Got to attack when you have that chance. Quarter number two with just over a minute to play. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. Here's Osman. Still without a bucket. To the right side. Here's Branham. He drops it from range. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. 4-3. Another shot. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Cavaliers, Evan Mobley. Taking two shots. We throw good. Mobley. Champini. He's checked in for San Antonio. Jones comes in for Branham. Struess, he's checked in for Cleveland. And both free throws good for Mobley. For San Antonio, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Garland against Jones. Nice D from Garland. The Cavaliers leading. Smitty, one thing you really appreciate about Trey Jones, he runs the offense with efficiency. Yes, B.A., the reason why he has a high basketball IQ and a calmness, and he never makes mistakes. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there, Brian. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Garland. Carries it from about yeah, 10 feet out, away. Garland's got four points this quarter. Time Perfect out. play to run there to get a clean look. Timeout called. The Spurs. Looking now for some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result.
We're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Wimanyama. The shot off that time. Good D by Mobley. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Outside Struess. Allen outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from the wing. And Garland with a basket. On the assist from Allen. And it's a nine-point Cleveland lead. And that possession was in trouble. Enter Darius Garland. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Pass to Osman. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Garland. To the paint. Here's Struess. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Giving it up for a better look, Mitchell, with some smart ball movement. Now here's Jones. And Max Struess picks up the foul. That's his first foul. A different look for San Antonio. Collins, he's checked in for Osman. Keldon Johnson comes in for Vassell. And it's Wesley in for Jones. Here's Wesley. Still no points. Outside Wimbanyama. Pass to Collins. And here's Johnson. A minute 53 left in the first half of basketball. Off target at the rim. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. Here's Champagny. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Establishing a pink presence early in the game. It really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. First free throw is good. Mama Kelishvili checked in for Victor Wimbanyama. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Morris, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Levert with the ball. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Merrill. Thompson left side. Outside for Levert. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And the Spurs making a change here. Random's checked in. Now into the lineup for your Spurs, Rodham. San Antonio has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Pass to Mamo Kelishvili. And here's Collins. Here's Wesley. Five to shoot. Here's Johnson. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Cavaliers have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Here's Struess. Rebound San Antonio. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Sohan's checked in for San Antonio. And Cleveland with a change here too. Okoro's checked in. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. Levert outside. Morris down low. Collins there. Morris passes to Thompson. Who poked away. 
Here's Sohan, defended by Thompson. The shot by Sohan, no good. Pass to Levert. Launches a three. The clock runs out, and we are headed to halftime. Cavaliers ahead, up by nine. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. And guys, for the Cavaliers, Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? They were getting after it on the glass, like wild and They got a nice edge in that. They won the hard and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can play. Kenny, how do you think San Antonio played? They were one-dimensional on offense. All perimeter. They didn't get anything going down. They didn't even try to establish a paint pressure, please. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Hey, nice game. Great performance by Darius Garland. You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. You know, you almost take it for granted. You look at his numbers from the first half. They're just expected at this point. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cavaliers. Jones and Vassell are the one and the two. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. And it's Champagne at the three spot. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. Well, Graham, before he even hit the league, Wimbanyama was touted as the next big star from afar. You know, B.A., playing in a foreign pro league added to his mystique, B.A. We weren't getting the exposure to his game. It made it easy to wonder just how great he would be here. Now here's Struess. Pass to Mobley. Here's Garland, defended by Jones. Clock at six. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. They're using his size so well go. and putting some muscle behind his play. That's how Sohan gets to his shot inside. Now here's Garland. Six points for him. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Basket counts. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scores and let them do what they do best. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Well, B.A. Victor Wimbanyama was asked to describe his game, and he said, quote, the word I would say is versatile. Being able to score at any level, any moment in the game, taking responsibilities. Maybe Mr. Do Everything. And Brian, will he be the next international phenom to take over the league? He said with a smile, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Plenty of confidence right there. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you for that. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. What's Off up? the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. That's good from Garland. Getting to the line more since his career has gone on, Garland, a deployable free-throw shooter. Here's Sohan, covered by Mobley. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. San Antonio ball.
Pass to Champigny. This is Allen's role. He's out there to defend first and foremost and make an impact with his leg. Here's Garland. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Garland's got 11. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. The Cavaliers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Vassell against Mitchell. Allen outside. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. Pass to Vassell. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Six to shoot. And he drives in. Tries a 10-footer. And he hits the jumper. Vassell's got his first two points. I love the aggressive attitude of Devin Vassell. Excellent job on that drive. And the Cavaliers call time here. With Vassell out there, there's a lot he brings to the table, Steve. Yeah, he can make a difference at both ends of the floor. And I know they like that about him. If he has an off night shooting the ball, he still adds value with his defense. Kelishvili's checked in for Sohan, and it's Osman in for Champagny. Niang, he's checked in for Cleveland. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Niang. That one is off. Good D by Wimbanyama. San Antonio shooting a low 30% from the floor. Mamo Kelishvili, and he dumps it down. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. The pull-up jumper. Wimanyama, no good. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm has been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Here's Osman. No points yet. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got five rebounds in the game. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Mitchell, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. We talk about guys who impose their will on the game. Donovan Mitchell's in that group. At the line for the Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw is good for Mitchell. So San Antonio going with almost an entire new group here. Collins, he's checked in for Mamu Kelishvili. Johnson comes in for Osman. Branham's checked in for Vassell. And it's Wesley in for Jones. Morris, he's checked in for the Cavs. Karis LeVert comes in for Darius Garland.
off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. And Smitty, even as his game has evolved, Keldon Johnson remains a spark plug. You know, he plays with so much energy. He has become more than a downhill scorer. He can hit the jump off the catch or dribble and keep defenders honest. One forty-three left to play in the third. Levert outside. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Wesley. Sinks that one from the post. Wesley's got his first bucket in this one. Strong move at the rim. The defender was just a tad big late and contested. Mitchell, the pass to Morris. Over Collins. And another miss by Cleveland. The Spurs have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Here's Wesley. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. So it's San Antonio now. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. Wimbanyama finds Collins. Now here's Johnson. The three is up. And again, hits the Spurs from deep. Terrific energy at both ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. Levert hits the jump hook. Levert's got four points this quarter. Yeah, that's inexcusable. I mean, the defense must push Levert farther away from the basket than that. Here's Wesley. The Cavaliers pull it in. They've led by as many as 14. Now Mitchell. He's got seven. The deep three. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Cavaliers ahead. They're up by eight. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. San Antonio's gone three of four from distance in this game, setting the floor for the Cavaliers. Okoro and Mobley, your small and power forwards. Garland and Levert team up in the backcourt. And it's Allen in at the center position. Now here's Vassell. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. Jones misses. The Cavaliers leading. Pass to Garland. Over Jones. And Garland with a basket on the assist by Okoro. Rise and fire. I just love how assertive Garland is on offense. Here's Sohan. Outside Jones. And here's Johnson. From deep three-point land. The putback. Mobley grabs the board. And it's Garland with a ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Oh, the length of Allen is exceptional. Helping him reach past the defense and jamming it home. Here's Mama Kelishvili following the score by Cleveland. Vassell outside. Pass to Johnson. Spurs need to get one up here. Sohan. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting around 44%. Not bad. Let's a floater go. They get it back. Here's Mobley. Here's the second effort. And Allen puts it in. Allen's gotten four this quarter. And this is why you must box out Allen. A strong timeout, player timeout. who can hurt you on the offensive timeout. glass. Now a timeout called by San Antonio. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. 
Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Checked in for Mamu Kelishvili. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Greg Popovich was telling his team. Coach wanted his guys to ignore the scoreboard. He said, don't even look at the numbers. Just take it possession by possession. Make every chance count, and we'll see where we stand at the end of this game. Back to you guys. Ali, thank you. Here's Champagny. Here's Sohan. Pass to Vassell. On the wing, Jones. From deep. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Levert passes to Garland to the middle. Here's Allen. Rebounded by Johnson. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Vassell can't get it to go. For Cleveland, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Allen who slams it home. And making the game just look easy. Allen is a fantastic alley-oop target given his length and timing. Pass to Sohan. Here's Jones to end the run. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Jones against Garland. Allen outside. Outside Garland. This one for three. The rebound by the Spurs. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Champigny. Beyond the arc. Again, the miss by the Spurs. For Cleveland, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Yep, that one goes. Okoro's got his first points of the game. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. I'm called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Incredible. I mean, he found his rhythm out there tonight. 
and he's really let his offense come to him. He hasn't forced the issue, and because of this, it's allowed him to get into a comfort zone. I'll tell you, this is the kind of game you love to have from your role players. Putting up big numbers, filling in the gaps, and supporting your squad out on the road. San Antonio's got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Champagne, the pass to Jones. Now here's Wimbanyama. Now here's Vassell. Five on the clock. Pass to Champagne. They still need this. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number 11. Garland against Jones. Garland, the pass to Allen. It's stolen by Wimanyama. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Cavaliers. Their transition game was the standout for me. Created a lot of extra pressure pushing the ball. I agree. They took control of the tempo and were really dictating the terms of the game. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Darius Garland. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah, he's a fearless player. I mean, Sohan not afraid to give up his body to give his team a better chance. So San Antonio going with almost an entire new group here. Collins, he's checked in for Wimanyama. Osman comes in for Champagny. Branham's checked in for Vassell. And it's Wesley in for Jones. And so he makes both from the line. A top 10 pick in the 2022 draft. Jeremy Sohan is a hustler. Plays extremely hard. Is a coach's dream. Here's Okoro. A minute four left in the fourth. Pass to Merrill. Shot clock at six. From the line. And it's Cleveland with another. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on him not messing around at all they were focused relentless and they got the job done here's osman here's sohan and once again off the mark by san antonio nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock here's merrill rebounded by the spurs Sohan, the pass to Osman. Down low. The jump hook. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Here's Merrill. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A shock and surprise. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later.